So today I thought I'd try this Richard's Sparkling Rainwater. And uh, it says caught clean, bottled fresh, local everywhere, 100% rain. And I went on their website, which is richardsrainwater.com, and I looked up some info. And they capture this directly from rain. They do not treat it with chemicals before it touches the ground. That's how they phrased it. You can go look it up. Y'all know, I well, if you don't know, I love sparkling water. So let's try. Let me see if this is a twist off. And it is a twist off cap and it's the glass bottle. Okay. Crisp. It does not have a, this does not have a flavor. I, I've never seen this in flavor, so I don't think it is flavored. I got this from Whole Foods, by the way but I've also seen it in other um, grocery stores. Now I will say, I'm this is not bad, but I'm used to drinking sparkling mineral water, like Perrier, Pellegrino. So it has like, excuse me, it, <laughs> it makes me, you know, bubble up, belch, whatever. Um, it has like a different taste than mineral water, but I like it. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Um, my favorite sparkling water is Perrier Lime and also Topo Chico, but only Topo Chico in the glass bottle. Um, but this is good. I like it. I thought I'd try it. Ooh, excuse me. It's very strong, like strong bubbles, I mean. You know what I'm talking about if you drink sparkling water. Some of them are less strong, some of them more strong. I think something about it being in like a glass, too, is a big thing with like things being strong. Because if y'all have ever tasted a Coca-Cola out of a glass, to me it's a lot more, it has a lot more bite than like say a can or especially a plastic bottle. But, I mean, it's cute, you know, and they do a lot of things, I think, to help the environment. If I'm not mistaken, you can go on their website and check it out. This is not a sponsored review, by the way. This is just me trying shit. Let's see what it says on the side. They have a number you can call. It says, for a report on rainwater quality and information, call, then it has the number. Did y'all know that in some places they make it illegal to capture rainwater? It's like they make it illegal. They try to make it as hard as possible to find ways around this system. Isn't that messy? Like, you know how somebody might have a rain drum in the back of their yard or something, and they might capture rainwater and then do whatever with it. I don't know. Wash their hair, cook with it, whatever. In some places, that's illegal. Ain't that a blip? Stay aware. But anyway, y'all go check this out. Let me do scale from one to 10, 10 being the best. I mean, I'll give it like a, a six. It's not like nothing where I'm like running to buy it again. I think not because it's bad, but just because I'm used to mineral water. And I believe, I don't care what anyone says, when different minerals are in water, it makes water taste different. All water has a different taste. People try to say it doesn't, but it does. I'm real funny about tastes and smells. I'm very sensitive to things like that. I think I'm an HSP, but anyway. Um, Y'all, go try Richard's. It is not bad. And I'll see you in the next review.